Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I've got a special video on browser speed, namely which browser is the fastest. I ran each of the four top browsers through six tests, measuring JavaScript speed, overall page loading speed, CSS rendering, and startup time. I covered the latest releases of Microsoft Internet Explorer 8, Google Chrome 2, Apple Safari 4, and Firefox 3. I did test Firefox with and without add-ons running, and contrary to what most people think, I actually didn't see any slowdown at all. In fact, generally with add-ons running, Firefox was at least as fast, if not very slightly faster. However, all my testing was done with the add-ons disabled. Also note that I tested the latest non-beta release of Firefox 3, version 3.0.10, and not the upcoming 3.5 release. I'm sure 3.5 will do much better, but for this test I focused on browsers that were not in beta. I also did not test Opera, so sorry for Opera fans. Anyway, let's get this one started. Let me just say a couple of things before we begin. First of all, while the test is as accurate as I could get it, it's not strictly scientific. Generally, you would install each browser on a fresh install of Windows and test it. But seeing as that wasn't feasible for me, I did the next best thing and just restarted my computer after each round of browser tests. I also cleared out the cache and closed any programs on my computer that could affect the performance. So while the numbers might not be perfect, I think they should give you a clear idea of how fast each browser is relative to each other. Lastly, I used a laptop running Windows Vista for each test, with a 1.6 GHz processor and 1.5 GB of RAM. Okay, so the first test would obviously be starting the browsers. I opened each browser five times and averaged out the results, using my screen recorder to time precisely how long it took. Note that this took a great deal. To, this has a great deal to do with your computer, but it should give you a good idea of how fast each browser is relative to each other. I timed from the time I launched the browser to when the content began to load. As you can see, Chrome did very nicely with launching in under 2 seconds. Safari followed behind at slightly more than 3 seconds, with Firefox right behind it at just over 4 seconds. Internet Explorer, however, took much longer, at an average of just under 13 seconds to load. To sum up, Chrome, Safari, and Firefox all do quite well, while Internet Explorer takes at least 3 times longer to load than even the slowest of the other three. Next, I ran a generic JavaScript test, which timed each browser according to how long it took to uh, run a well-balanced script. JavaScript is fast becoming one of the most popular types of content on the web, powering such popular sites as Gmail and Google Earth, among many, many others. Here, Safari 4 really showed off the power of its new Nitro JavaScript engine by finishing the test on average in well under two tenths of a second. Chrome, while behind, still posted some impressive results at slightly more than three tenths of a second. Firefox lagged behind with taking more than a half a second, and again, Internet Explorer was a long way back, taking nearly a full second to complete the test. While Safari did beat out the other browsers fairly easily here, Chrome still did a very good job as well. In reality, a tenth of a second to run a complex, a complex JavaScript task really isn't noticeable, so that's something to keep in mind. Next, I ran the ACID3 test. ACID3 is a broad test that runs each browser through a battery of tests to check and see if the browser meets the web standards. And also, it gives a general idea of how well the browser renders all sorts of different types of content. ACID3 does focus less on outright speed, but here again, the fastest browsers score highest. Both Chrome and Safari pass with flying colors, getting a perfect 100 score. Firefox does surprisingly well, with a very solid 71 score. Internet Explorer, however, only barely made it through the test with a lackluster score of 12. As with the JavaScript test, both Chrome and Safari breezed through it, with Firefox doing decently and Internet Explorer putting up a poor showing. The next test I ran each browser through was a CSS rendering test by loading up 4,500 blank divs. CSS is found on nearly all modern web pages today, and it is the language that makes all of the boring and blank and plain text and links into vivid layouts. Here, I'm glad to say, all four browsers did very well. 
Safari led the way, with Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Firefox all cl quite close behind. While the graph makes it look like a runaway for Safari, it is slightly misleading. The difference between first and last was less than 10 milliseconds. In other words, all these v browsers are very, very fast with CSS. The last test I ran was the V8 benchmark suite. This is a test made by Google, which compiles several popular JavaScript tests into one. As you might expect, in this test, Chrome won with an impressive score of over 1,800. Safari wasn't far behind with a score of over 1,200. From there, however, it fell well off to Firefox with a mere 151. As for Internet Explorer, instead of running the test, it gave a dialog that said that the script I was running would likely freeze my computer and take several minutes to complete. That mostly says it right there, but I did try to run the test, and true to form, my computer crashed. All these tests are fine, of course, but the real reason is simple. Which browser is faster? It's a simple question with not such a simple answer. While in most tests, Safari edges out Chrome, usually it was by a small margin, and both were indeed blindingly fast. In loading a website like Google took less than one second in both browsers, which was moderately faster than either Firefox or Internet Explorer. If you use Internet Explorer, I'm, I'm not really sure why you could, would, as I can't for the life of me think of one reason why you sh would, would, unless you absolutely just didn't have any choice. The real reason, I think, is between Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. Chrome and Safari are noticeably faster than Firefox, but Firefox is decent enough and it has many features, such as add-ons, that Chrome and Safari really don't right now. So in the end, it will probably come down to what you feel works best for you between the interfaces, features, and anything else that you might want to take into account. Based purely off of speed, however, there's no touching Safari 4. Be sure to check out Zizzard.com for the latest app reviews, iPhone and iPod Touch news, tips and tricks for your device, jailbreaking information, and more. Thanks for watching.